Kellerbier is a traditional German unfiltered lager, known for its naturally cloudy appearance and fresh character. This style may also exhibit subtle yeast-driven notes, including mild byproducts such as diacetyl, sulfur, or green apple, which are typically absent in well-aged German beers. Amber Keller beer is a smooth, easy-drinking seasonal amber lager brewed to be enjoyed fresh. Popular in Franconia and Bavaria, it is often served in beer gardens and local pubs, particularly in the summer. This style is an older variation of Helles Keller, and while it shares similarities with its paler counterpart, it differs notably in color, flavor, and malt character. This young, unfiltered, medium-bodied lager boasts a more pronounced malt character than the pale version. The name Keller beer literally means cellar beer, referring to a beer served young, straight from the aging tanks. Amber Keller is smooth and slightly sweet, balanced by subtle hop bitterness, but its amber color signals a richer malt profile with flavors of toasted bread, caramel, and biscuit. Like its pale counterpart, it retains a hazy appearance due to yeast and suspension, though the malt forward character adds a distinct depth of flavor. Brewing salts are used to enhance extraction, lower the pH, improve yeast flocculation, and to help highlight multi-character. We are adding both calcium chloride and calcium sulfate to get 71 ppm of chloride, 72 ppm of sulfate, and 70 ppm of calcium in our brewing liquor. Two row Pilsner base malt provides the bulk of the fermentable extract, along with soluble proteins and enzymes. Munich Type 2 and Carrarid malts contribute a distinctive and complex malt profile, emphasizing bready and toasty flavors while enhancing mouthfeel and imparting a deep amber color. For mashing, we use 21 liters of strike water at 71.5 degrees Celsius. After adding the grist, we maintain a mash temperature of 65 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes to ensure full starch conversion. The mash pH is adjusted to 5.4, using lactic acid. Before runoff, we raise the mash out temperature to 77 degrees Celsius.
Sparging is performed with 30 to 35 liters of treated brewing liquor at 75 degrees Celsius. Runoff is stopped after collecting 41 liters of wort at 11 degree Plato in the brew kettle. Once we reach our full kettle volume, the wort is boiled for 75 minutes, with a final target volume of 38 liters at 12 degree Plato post boil. The hop bill consists of European noble hops, primarily Magnum and Saz. Magnum, known for its high alpha acid content, provides clean, crisp bitterness. Saez contributes a classic noble hop character with subtle spicy, floral, and herbal notes. Our target bitterness is 20 IBU. Magnum hops are boiled for 60 minutes, and Saz hops are introduced 5 minutes before the end to enhance flavor and aroma. After a 15-minute whirlpool rest, the wort is cooled to 12 degrees Celsius using a wort chiller. We combine wort from six small brew systems to collect a total of 220 liters in the fermentation vessel. Fermentation is carried out with Safflager W3470 yeast, which produces a well-balanced blend of floral and fruity aromas while delivering a clean and highly drinkable beer. This dry yeast is pitched directly into the fermentation vessel at a rate of 120 grams per hectoliter. Primary fermentation lasts 14 days at 12 degrees Celsius until the beer reaches its target ABV of 5%. It is then crash cooled to 0 degrees Celsius for an additional week of aging before being transferred to a bright beer tank. Natural carbonation is achieved using a bunging device, with the final carbonation level adjusted to 2.7 volumes of CO2 before the batch is packaged into kegs. As the name suggests, this amber Keller beer has a deep amber or copper color, but it still retains a natural haziness from the yeast in suspension. The beer generally has a creamy off-white to light tan head that lingers for a while. Amber Keller has a rich malty character, with flavors of toasted bread, biscuits, and light toffee. The malt sweetness is noticeable but not overpowering, and it forms the backbone of the beer's flavor. The hop character is subdued compared to the malt profile, offering a mild bitterness that balances the malt sweetness. 
You may notice herbal, floral, or lightly spicy hop notes, but they are quite restrained. The finish is smooth and clean, with the malt lingering slightly, and the hop bitterness providing just enough dryness to keep the beer refreshing. Slight buttery and green apple character are present at very low levels. Amber Keller beer pairs beautifully with hearty baked goods like pretzels and rye bread. Its malt sweetness enhances the richness of creamy cheeses such as brie and camembert. This beer also complements roasted meats, especially pork, sausages, grilled chicken, and duck, since its toasty malt flavors accentuate the depth of roasted or caramelized meat dishes. Amber Keller beer offers an excellent introduction to unfiltered lagers. It is an ideal choice for those who enjoy a bit more malt depth than typical pale lagers, but still want the clean finish and drinkability that Keller beer is known for. Whether you're enjoying it with hearty food or simply sipping it on its own, Amber Keller provides a satisfying, flavorful experience. Prost.